Today at Starbase Edwards, let's make our own decoder wheel. Together, we can learn the basics of encryption. Hmm, top secret, huh? It's a secret code. Fortunately, we have the tool for this. From your science kit, you'll need the decoder wheel page, and the brass fastener, also known as a brad. On top of that, you'll need a pair of scissors, and a pencil. Okay, first, you'll need the piece of paper, and the pair of scissors. Please be careful with these, but anyway, cut out the three circles. The middle one has a ring of letters on it, but we won't need those, so cut those off and leave only the numbers. Your three rings should look like this. Now take the pencil and poke a hole in each of the three circles. And now for the other two. Now take the brass fastener and stick it through the hole in the smallest circle. Now attach the middle circle to that, and then finally the largest circle. Now you want to bend open the, the prongs on the end of the brass fastener so it's spread out like this, and your circle should be secured. You should not be able to rotate the middle portion. To decipher this cipher text and turn it into plain text, we'll need a hint. The hint here is x equals 10, so we will line up the X and the 10 on the wheel. Now that those are lined up, our first number is 16. So now, all we have to do is find the 16, and see the letters associated with it. The first letter is D, so I'll write a D here. The next number is a 1. 1 is associated with O, so I'll write O next. Now continue for each of these letters. These types of codes are the basis of cybersecurity. Of course, they use way more complicated ones. And our secret message is, don't forget to do your homework? What kind of secret code is that? I mean, they're not wrong, but still. If you want more codes, you can find them in your lesson handbook. To make your own code, you'll first need a hint. I wrote, the first letter of the alphabet and 5 times 2 equals what? As you can see, that means A and 10, so I'll line the 10 up with the A. Now I want to encode the word hello, so I'll find the H on the wheel. So I'll go ahead and write down that H. And then I'll write down the number associated with it, which is 17. The next letter is E, which is associated with 14. And I'll continue for the rest of the letters. What I'll be sending to my friend is not all these letters, but rather just the numbers in the hint. Uh, I'll have to copy these to another piece of paper to send them to a friend, but you get the point. Thank you for watching.